Hazard Pay, $10,000. CDC, another $10,000 grant. $50,000 grant. With Lifeline, $10,000 grant, $50,000 grant, another $10,000 grant, and another $10,000 grant on top of that. When will they be coming? Big breaking news from Washington as Janet Yellen has been nominated as the cabinet member for the Treasury, and she's likely to want to push all this and more. Meantime, is Nancy Pelosi on the out? Many believe that she will not be the lead negotiator for any negotiations for the stimulus and may not even be included in the room anymore. Meantime, Mitch McConnell, he wants to do a nearly tailored bill. So will a nearly tailored bill include hazard pay, EIDL, CDC grant, $50,000 grant, and what's happening with hazard pay on a local level? Are they paying hazard pay and can you get hazard pay right now? All breaking news from Washington, breaking this afternoon as Wall Street and Congress just try to figure out how to get the stimulus out during the holidays. This is incredible news on Purple. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm here, you are here, and apparently the cows of the Calcina are there as well. They're watching, they say, you know, uh, is anything changed? Yes, everything has changed. Well, how about her, her hairstyle? No, that has not changed. <laughs> so thank, thank you for joining me on Purple. Big developments across the board. Big breaking news from Washington and Wall Street today about your stimulus check and its impact on hazard pay and grants. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please do, because I'm getting viewers thousands of dollars by the minute. And I want you to have this money as well, because ultimately when I talk about some of these grants, some of these grants are now, some of these grants are not now, and then other grants are coming up in the future. But I want you to get the grants that are now. And not everyone is talking about them, but you and I are talking about them, and you're gonna get them in this video. Thousands of dollars that could land your bank account that you need right now. And I got one viewer twenty-four thousand dollars this morning. I got another viewer fifteen thousand yesterday, and another viewer eight thousand. It's by the minute. Everything is coming in. Everything is working so incredible. So please subscribe to this channel. Also hit the alert button so you get an alert when a new video goes live or something's posted to the community page in which I go over money that's available for you right now. And this is on if you're on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, Railroad benefits. All of you qualify for this money. Also like this video. In this video, I have a lot of stuff coming up. And this is really the framework of why things have changed the last 24 hours. First, Nancy Pelosi is potentially on the outs for negotiation for your stimulus. I had always said she's not your lead negotiator anymore. It's Joe Biden. Nancy Tr Pelosi tried to reinsert herself. And then yesterday, Joe Biden sort of backed her. But now there's indication that she's singularly not going to be the sole so face of negotiations anymore. And the new reports about the new Treasury Secretary suggest that she's going to be the one that's really going to push stuff. And that's really good news because it's economic stuff for you, not stuff for Nancy. Then I'll be turning to hazard pay. What's going on with hazard pay under the next few days? And what will this representative say about hazard pay? And can you get hazard pay? Finally, can you get money right now? It's all really shocking ads developing by the minute. And I'm so glad you joined me. Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you sit here today is that there's thousands of dollars for you to get right now. I don't care if you're on, let me, let me back it up. You and I talk right now. If you're on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, you qualify for this money. If you're ahead on your rent and not behind, you qualify for this money. If you have paid your electric bill and your water bill, you qualify for this money. If you are, uh, if you have food in the refrigerator, you qualify for this money. I don't want you to think that you don't qualify for something because someone else has told you no. Ultimately, the answer is yes. All of this money is money that the viewers of this channel qualify for. And this is what's incredible great news. It's money that was given to the states and to give it to the cities and counties for you. No one told you the money was there. And now it's sitting there waiting for you to get 
It's for you. And it's thousands of dollars. And I'm going to explain to you how you get it. So you understand. I'm going to give you two ways to get it. And if you, that doesn't even help, I have five volunteers, not one, but five volunteers to help you get this money. The money's not going to be around forever. It's going to be around to about middle December. So I want you to get this money right now. And viewers are getting thousands of dollars within 24 hours, not five days, not five months, not five weeks. So please subscribe to this channel. Also, like this video. In this video, I have so much coming up, and boy, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, um, it's just all over the place. Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news, as you sit here today, is that there's thousands of dollars of CARES Act One money that was given to the states to give to the cities and counties for you. And ultimately, the lack of announcement, the lack of publicity, the lack of statements about this has caused viewers to get sort of uh, confused as why was I not told about this? And how did I not know about this? And why is this suddenly happening now? And suddenly, do I qualify? Let me back it up and let's talk Turkey. <laughs> or ham. Uh, what's important to understand is that this is money that was given to the cities and counties for you. It wasn't given for someone else. It was for you. This is your money to get. And the cities and counties just got it recently because they were holding on to it at the state level. And ultimately, this is money that you qualify for you, that you need to get right now because it's not going to be around to des after December 15th. I have gotten people grant rent grants in Massachusetts when they said there was no rent grants in Massachusetts. I've gotten people rent grants in, Pencil in Pennsylvania when they went online and said, I don't see any rent grants in Pennsylvania. I've gotten people utility grants in Missouri when they said Missouri's not doing anything. I've gotten people rent grants for eight months months in Houston when they said Houston's rent grant program is closed. I don't find it in Houston. I've gotten people money for rent, utilities, and uh, food in nearly almost every state that my viewers are in. And what's important to understand is that you should be next. I don't want to hear that you called on Monday and you gave up hope after Monday, or you called on Monday and Tuesday and you gave up hope after Monday or Tuesday, or you got on the phone some really rude person who said it doesn't exist and you're sort of done looking. Because that's not the spirit of the Purple Power. The spirit of this channel is to push, 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 and ultimately I'm giving you the information to push. And if you want to simply just say, you know what, just send me a stimulus check and I'll be fine. Guess what? There is no stimulus check. It hasn't been sent. Hasn't been mailed. It's not being mailed this week. It's not being mailed next week. So there is no stimulus check going out in the next seven days. This money is available for you right now in the next seven days. And viewers are getting it. So how do you get this money? You go to your city, your county, your state, and you look for the money in your city hall by calling city hall. Next, you call your county authority. Third, you call your housing authority, your state housing authority. Fourth, you call your utilities company. And what you're asking for is rental assistance, food assistance, and utility assistance. They have it. They absolutely have it. Next, you also go online. Every city and county has this posted on their websites because they all have their own individual websites. Third, if you're having problems finding this and have been looking since Monday and you really think you have put in a really strong effort and can't find it, as opposed to, you know, I just watched the video. Maybe I just have someone do this for me. I'm sort of lazy. Let me just have someone do it for me. Uh, I'm, I'm busy eating my $12 ice cream. Can someone go do this for me? Uh, unless that's you. <laughs> than everyone else, go into the community page of this channel. Five wonderful volunteers, viewers of this channel, who I have gotten grants for, have now turned around and volunteered to help you. And they're helping getting a lot, hundreds of thousands of viewers across this channel every single day get these grants. And I want you to understand that they're here to help you as well. So go get it. Now, let's turn to stimulus, second stimulus grants. $10,000, the other $10,000, $50,000, hazard pay. I'm going to go over all these right now. The first thing you need to understand is that the hazard pay that's on a local level currently now is sometimes available in your cities and states as the CARES Act 1 grants, but not every city and county has a CARES Act 1 grant for hazard pay. Second, some cities and counties are paying, uh, some, some employers are paying bonus pay. So have that conversation with your with your employer, especially if your employer is a big box retailer, because they're paying bonus pay if uh, you're working to this pandemic, and it could be hundreds of dollars. Now, let's turn to 
federal has to pay. That's $10,000. Yes, $10,000 if you worked any time during the pandemic. Wow. Any time from January all the way up to when the pandemic's over. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of money. How do we calculate it? It's $13 an hour. From January, for all the hours you work from January all the way up to 60 days after the pandemic ends, which is about the middle of next year. You times that by $13 an hour, and then you get a number. And if you reach that threshold, bam, $10,000 is your account. Next, uh, if you don't reach that threshold, you'll get the, the, the number you're at, and then you'll get $13 an hour going forward. Very simple. Next, the important thing to understand when you're doing hazard pay is that essential workers is defined under the bill. Every night on Purple Power Live, I go over what's essential and what's not essential workers. And the number one question, which I'm going to answer right now in this video, because it's breaking really today, because it's a major issue of contention, is who are the essential workers and who are not the essential workers? I always get messages on private. Say, am I an essential worker? Am I an essential worker? Am I an essential worker? Ultimately, you can ask me that question every night on Purple Power Live at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But here's the number two item that causes the most confusion. The first one is construction, and the second one is the big box retailers. Let's do construction. Anyone that's in a that's a construction plumber, electrician, repairs, anything like that. The problem they have with that issue is that they'll give it as essential workers if you work solely in a particular building, just one building, and you're the maintenance guy or gal in that building, and that's what you do. But if you're a person that goes around and fixes dishwashers in people's homes left and right, that's not essential under the way they're defining the bill. Next, Target, Walgreens, Walmart, Costco, Home Depot, Lowe's. This is a real battleground on if it's essential workers or not. Because ultimately, viewers understand that the pharmacy in Walmart is essential. But the selling uh, and the selling the vegetables in Walmart is also essential. Because grocery is essential and pharmacy is essential. But how about selling socks and tennis shoes and jeans? Is that essential? No. So going to the Gap or a salesperson at a local retail store is not essential. A pet store, not essential. But how about selling uh, pharmacy, pharmacy, uh, pharmaceuticals. Yes, that's essential. And selling food. Yes, that's essential. So what Wall Street and Congress is going to have to really figure out for this, for the hazard pay bill is how to deal with that sort of confusion. Next, the grants. There's so many grants. And ultimately, there's a push underway from now four forces. And this is what's really breaking today on giving you grants. And it's unclear who is going to be the writing force. I have my predictions more about that in a second. You have Joe Biden's push on who he wants, on what type of grants he wants to give under the second stimulus package. Again, this is not money right now. This is money right after. This is not money going out this week. This is money thereafter. He wants certain grants for certain issues. Issues. Those grants he wants are for SSDI, SSI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, a $2,400 grant, a stimulus check grant that would go on top of your existing benefits of $200 every month, all the way from now to December of next year. That's what he wants. He also wants a hazard pay grant. He also wants hazard pay grant to include teachers. Teachers are often not included in prior Democratic documents. Then you have Nancy Pelosi. She had hazard pay in there. She doesn't have hazard pay in there. So will hazard pay survive with her? Not really clear. Next, you have the Treasury appointee from the Biden administration today. She wants certain things that are economically uh, stimulating. Are essential workers economically stimulating? Hard to say. And which essential workers are included? Ultimately, you have different type of essential workers through this entire scope of discussion. You have the Uber and Lyft drivers. Then you have the grocery store workers. Then you have the, the the doctors in the hospital. And then you have a security guard in a commercial building. Congress, the president-elect, the current president, the treasury, current treasury secretary, the treasury secretary-elect are all seeing essential workers slightly different based upon whether you're in a grocery store, you're a security guard, or you're in a big box retailer. And that's sort of where the push is. So now let's go over the grants. In addition to the hazard pay $10,000 grant, there's a CDC grant, $10,000. If you worked any time during the pandemic, there's a proposed CDC $10,000 grant that Biden wants you to have if you worked during the pandemic. Next, an EIDL grant, not one, but two. There's the current EIDL 
a grant that expired about in May. Viewers never got it. They want to pay that retroactively. And then the $10,000 grant for new EIDL applications. Next, a $50,000 grant. Yes, a $50,000 grant if you are, are uh, and this is called the Lifeline Grant. So what would Mitch give along all these different things? It's hard to say. He would certainly give EIDL. He would certainly give frontline worker stuff. Would he give a $50,000 grant? I don't think so. Would he give a $10,000 grant? Possibly. Ultimately, you have so many different types of forces at play here to determine which grants and when are the grants and how are they in, at issue. What's important to understand when we talk about hazard pay on this channel is that hazard pay takes a lot of different forms and a lot of different names. In a personal level between you and your employer, it's often called bonus play bonus pay. When you're talking about Congress, when they say hazard pay, sometimes it includes frontline workers. Sometimes it only includes uh, uh, frontline workers who work for the city and county. It does include uh, Uber and Lyft. Other times it includes everyone. My focus is to get you money right now. And so ultimately what I need you to understand between you and I and focus right here is that there's money available coming under second stimulus package, but that is not approved now. It's not being approved this weekend. It's not being approved today. It's not being approved tomorrow. That will get approved at some point, but that point is not here right now. What I'm doing is I'm getting viewers thousands of dollars right now from CARES Act 1 money that's available for you right now, Escalated Benefits for UI, and EIDL. All that money is available for you right now. I've gotten viewers a quarter million dollars and you should be the next person. There is not a single person who is not qualified or ineligible for that money based upon the viewership of this channel. I want you to get it. The money's not going to be around forever. It's going to expire in December 15th with the exception of UI. And that money is money you could really need right now. Coming up in five minutes from now or ten minutes from now is Being a Mitch. And in Being a Mitch, I go over the other things that Mitch McConnell is trying to do with repurposing money, exactly what I said in this video, and breaking developments on where that repurposing of the money is, is, is going to be. As always, go to the French channel, subscribe. Also like this video. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay in LA for more.